Good morning, students. So welcome back to our online class again. And how are you doing today, everyone? Very good. And how was your few days ago? Is it alright, right? Good. So now, teacher, welcome back again. Okay. So everyone, what day is it today? Good. So today is Thursday, right? July second, twenty twenty, and this is the second day of the new month as well of July, right? Good. All right, students. So, teacher, believe that you also review the lesson uh, in the previous video, right? Good. So, everyone, based on the online schedule, so which subject that you will study on Thursday, everyone? Very good. So, on Thursday, in the first session, you will study about Grammar Planet Three. Is it right? Good. And teacher, believe that you have the textbook in your hand right now. All right. So now that we come back to our lesson for today okay so before teacher go deeply to the lesson teacher would like to review all of you about the lesson in the previous video first okay so anyone do you still remember the unit okay uh, that you have learned in the previous video everyone very good so in the previous unit which is about unit 13 right in grammar planet 3 good so in unit 13 you have learned about the comparative attitude is it right good so to make sure that you understand deeply or you remember the form how to use the comparative or the way how to change the attitude to the comparative so now let's look at the whiteboard all together okay good so anyone you can look at my right hand side which is about comparatives right so comparative do you still remember the definition of comparatives good so comparative i mean that used to describe the differences between two objects or two items right good like we compare the two things if we have only one thing we cannot compare to each other right good so at least we have two things we have to compare all right good like this is the way how to change the attitude to comparatives so we have two form right the first one which is about regular and the second one which is about irregular do you still remember the one good so now let's move on to the first one which is about regular so regular we have three times more the first one by adding er okay the attitude that has only one syllable or we can say the short syllable right good like the word small we have only one syllable okay short okay or we can say a short syllable so we just add okay e or at the last of the word so it's become smaller you see everyone so we just add e or and it's become comparative attitudes okay so now let's move on to the next one okay so the next one which is about i e or so I E R I mean that the attitude that has two syllables and it also ends in letter Y. So we have to change Y to I and then we add E R and it's become comparative attitudes. Okay. So you can look at the whiteboard. So the word tidy. So the word tidy it has two syllables. Tidy. Okay. So when we change to the comparative attitude, we just change Y okay, to I and then we add E R and it's become comparative attitudes again like the word easy so we change y to i and then we add e or and it's become easily right good so now let's move on to the last one of regular which is about more okay so more we add to the attitude that has two syllable or more than two syllable okay so, or we can say that three syllables right like the word meaningful so the word meaningful so how many syllables everyone good so there are three syllable or we can say that a long syllable you say that okay so we just add more okay before the attitudes so it's become more meaningful okay so it's become comparative as two so the way how to make the sentence you know already right good so now let's move on to the next one which is about a regular okay the second one okay so you can look at the last one 
So the way how to change the form attitude to the comparatives by changing the, the best the best word like the word bad okay so the word bad we change to the comparative attitude by changing the word bad to boss okay boss all right so you have to remember the way how to change the comparative attitude okay so move on to the last one the word little so little is an attitude so when we change to the comparative attitude we change the word little to less so teacher believe that you remember well okay the way how to change the attitude to the comparative attitudes all right so now let's welcome back to our lesson today which is about okay unit 14 it is the smallest animal so before teacher go deeply to the lesson or the main part teacher would like to review all of you or to explain all of you about the title of the unit first okay so what does it mean it is the smallest animal okay so in this unit you will learn about the superlative attitudes okay the superlative attitude so uh, in the previous lesson you uh, learn about the comparative attitude that you compare the two things but right now in unit 14 you will learn about the superlative attitude that we compare as well but uh, to make sure that we compare uh, one thing you can say that we compare the highest degree like it is the smallest animal so it they want to compare the animal okay one animal that is the smallest one around the, the crowd okay of the animal or a group of animal you, you can see okay good so they want to compare one thing to the others okay good so teacher believe that you can catch up well about the the title of the unit all right so anyone so now we come back to our main part which is about section a okay look and learn so everyone you will know exactly about the definition of superlative attitudes okay so anyone you can uh, look at the first one which is about superlatives tell which of three things has the most of some quality at e s t to the end of short attitudes at most before long attitudes so everyone I would like to clarify about the word superlative a little bit okay so superlative attitude are the attitudes that used to describe or compare the highest degree of one thing okay it changed a little bit from the comparative attitude okay so in the comparative attitude uh, it compare the differences between two objects or we can say two items right good and move on to the comparative attitude we compare the highest degree of one thing you got it everyone so superlative attitude we compare one thing to other things all right like uh, we can say uh, that one it is the you know the weakest one okay of all the the things right good so anyone teacher believe that you can catch up well about the definition of superlative attitudes all right so anyone so now let's move on to the main part which is about the way how to change the attitude to comparative and also superlative attitudes okay so everyone we have two part the first part which is about regular and the second one which is about irregular right so regular i mean that the attitude we do not change that attitude but we just add uh, est or iest or most to the attitude and it's become superlative attitude good so everyone let's move on to uh, the first column which is about attitudes okay so all of these are the attitude they want so you can take a look and move on to the second column which is about comparative attitude that you have learned so far in the previous unit unit 13 right good and teacher believe that you know well about this word about how to change to compare to and move on to the main part that you will learn today okay which is about superlative attitude how to change to superlative attitude good all right everyone so now let's move your attention to the first one which is about est so est 
it means that the adjective that has only one syllable or we can say short adjective so we just add est to the last word and it's become okay superlative adjective so like the word short so the word short only one adjective or we can say short adjective or we can say one syllable so we add er is become comparative adjective right good and the most important part we just about how to change to superlative adjective by adding est so we add est to the last word okay the word short so it become short test okay short test and it is in superlative attitudes all right and one more thing you have to remember that in superlative attitude so the most important you have to add add what anyone who know you can tell me good so we add article article the good so we add article that before before the attitude okay before the superlative attitudes so you have to remember in superlative attitude it come up with article the okay the the short test okay the short test so when you make the sentence or you make the sentence structure if you don't have the word the or the, we can say article the in the sentence it also the wrong sentence okay so you have to know exactly about that all right so now let's move on to the next one big so the word big only one syllable i can say short attitude so when we want to change to the comparative attitude by adding er but you have to remember that the word big we have one consonant sound one vowel sound and one consonant sound so we have double consonant to the last letter letter g so we add double double g and then we add er it's become bigger you do just remember good so in superlative attitude it become biggest don't forget the article the biggest good the biggest the biggest okay so it is in superlative attitude so we just add est and it's become superlative attitude good so now this is about the first one so move on to the second one which is called iest so do you still remember the attitude that have two syllable okay and it also end in y so we change y to i and then we add est and it's become superlative additive right good like the word heavy so the word heavy it end in y and it has two syllable so we change y to i and then we add eo and it's become comparatives okay and after that move on to this one i EST. So we change Y to I and then we add EST and it's become superlative additive. So it becomes heaviest. Okay? So don't forget the article. Article the right. Good. The heaviest. So now let's move on to the next example. The word pretty. So pretty the same like the word heavy, two syllable, and it ends in Y. So we change y to i and then we add er and it's become comparative additive okay pretty pretty and move on to the last one we change y to i and then we add est and it's become prettiest in superlative additive and don't forget the article the good so move on to the last one the word most so in comparative attitude, we add more good and move on to the last one which is about some superlative attitude, we add most okay most so the attitude that has two syllable or more than two syllable or we can say long attitudes okay so we add most to the superlative attitude okay example like the word expensive expensive so there are three syllables we can say long attitude so we add more to 
before the attitude and it's become more expensive in comparative and the last one okay we add most good we add most and don't forget the article the the most expensive okay so we change more to most most the most expensive all right so now let's move on to the next word we're tired so how many syllables are there one of this word yes very good only one syllable but we can say it almost two syllable tired but exactly only one syllable tired okay so you have to remember it is also in this form okay so we add most to the superlative attitude okay more tired the most tired okay the most tired okay good so teacher believe that you can catch up well about the regular how to change the attitude to the comparative attitude and also the superlative attitudes okay if you have any questions so you can ask okay directly to me or you can ask your teacher as well so you can uh, your teacher can explain you more in detail about this okay so now let's move on to the next one which is about a regular so regular remember that we change the whole form of the or original form like the word good so we do not add e or or est to the word good but we change the word okay to the new word and it's become comparative and or superlative additives okay okay right. so now let's move on to the first one the word good so good as you know that when we want to change to this comparative attitude we change to better is it right good better good so when we want to change to the superlative attitude so we add est no right we do not add est to the word better but we change to best good best it is in superlative attitude and don't forget what yes the article the the best okay so in attitude the word good but when we want to change to the comparative attitude and it's become better and when we want to change the comparative attitude to the superlative attitude is become the best good so you have to remember how to change the form move on to the next word the word bad bad so the word bad when we want to change to the comparative attitude it's become worse it far different right all right so you have to remember bad to worse and when we want to change to the superlative attitude it become good worst worst okay w o r s t in comparative attitude w o r s e so we change e to t okay and it's become superlative attitude okay worst the worst okay good so now let's move on to the last okay the last one the word little so little so when we want to change to the comparative attitude and it's become less okay less l e s s so it is in comparative attitude but when we want to change to the superlative attitude and it's become list good and don't forget the article call the, the list okay so this is the way how to change the irregular attitude to the comparative and superlative attitudes all right everyone so hope you are so far so good with the how to change the comparative to the superlative attitudes all right everyone so do you have any question regarding to the lesson for the first session everyone good and if you don't have any questions so this is about the end okay for the first session and see you the second session altogether goodbye student